Hi there, it's Farmer Brad here, and on the Farmer Brad channel, I like to automate things because I don't have a lot of time to do things since I have a full-time job. So today, I'm going to daisy chain another chicken water. Now this right here is a 15 gallon tank. I fill this up with a 25 gallon tank that I, tip that I pull behind my zero turn radius mower. Then this waters two uh, chicken waters. So what I'm gonna be doing is running some to here. Hope you enjoy this video. I did modify a three and a half gallon bucket. So instead of the typical four water nipples, I have eight there. And each chicken tractor will have two of these three and a half gallon chicken water buckets. So the first step is going to drill a hole in here. And that is where the tubing is gonna fit, fit into. So what I'm wanting to do is make sure that that level is higher than this tubing at any point. Now I have these cable clamps. I have these cable clamps that I'm going to use to uh, secure the tubing where I want it to be. Cut this here. And another clamp. Okay, so I'm going to connect this. go okay so that is good there now I need to put a shutoff valve here and then this is where we will disconnect it Put this little clip there so that stays secure. And then when it comes time to disconnect this chicken tractor, you just do that. And we have that shut off. And one thing that I'm doing is I'm putting a little copper fitting down inside the bucket, and that is just to help uh, not encourage algae. 
pretty much discourage algae from growing. And I'll go ahead and put the lid on. And we might need to just go ahead and bend this so this will stay in the middle. There we go. So I'm going to do a slight bend on here so that it does not crease. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and connect this one. Okay, so that one's hooked up. It's all connected. So it's all hooked up now. Let's go refill this tank up with water and test to make sure that these work. Now it's just a matter of putting the baby chicks into this chicken tractor. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
and make sure to check out farmerbrad.com forward slash bucket auto is the uh, short URL to the automatic chicken water bucket. Now these here have been modified. I've placed more water nipples uh, for them. Um, but the standard one with the standard one with four is good for most uh, backyard setups. Yeah, hopefully this video gave you some ideas of how you can automate more on your farm. Uh, this is just a simple way. One of the key features is you have to make sure that that tank is up higher than any part of this tubing, otherwise the water won't feed there that way. Now, um, since this is fairly small tubing, it does take a while for the water to percolate into these chicken waters. So to start it off, I filled up these chicken water buckets here. But over time, that tank will gravity feed to the waters and keep them filled. So as long as I have that full, then I know that the chicken waters are full. So hope you have a wonderful day and that this video was helpful. Make sure to share this YouTube channel with your friends, have them subscribe. We're almost to 730 subscribers, uh, getting closer and closer each day to the thousand subscribers. Uh, we still have a long way in order to get to 4,000 hours. Um, of watch time in the last 12 months, uh, but thank you for everyone that has subscribed thus far uh, For your support and comments make sure to leave lots of comments on these videos And I'll answer them as I have time. Thanks for watching and have a great day